Hello, today I'm going to show you how to search the EBSCO Power Search. To do that, we're going to start on the orangecoastcollege.edu page. Then we're going to scroll down under Top Searches and we're going to click Library. From here, we're going to click where it says Databases A to Z. Um, the library databases are a collection of um, different websites that have articles and magazines and newspapers and things like that in them. Um, each website has different things in it, so you might want to look at multiple. Um, we're going to search a, a subset of these databases, um, all published by the same company called EBSCO, and we are going to do that by clicking over where it says Popular Searches, and we're going to click on EBSCO Power Search. From here, you can search the default databases, or you can click the Select All to select all of the databases. And then once you're done with that, just go ahead and click Continue. And then here we're going to enter our search. We're going to use some of the strategies from the search terms video uh, to make a better search. And what we're going to do here is if we wanted to search for the topic of how to use social media in a business setting, I'm going to go ahead and use the word social media, and then I'm going to type in the word and, and then I'm going to put in the word business. Okay, and then I'm going to click search. I got 75,000 articles, which is a lot to look through. So this is my, my clue that I probably want to narrow this down. There's a couple different ways I can do that. I can simply add the word and, and then I can add another word. As you can see, somebody's already done this search and they added the word success. You might also try something like profit. Um, and then now I'm down to 2,000. So just adding that one word really narrowed my search result a lot. Um, from here, if I want, I can go ahead and click any of these articles, and I can go ahead and read them. So here is um, information about the article. The abstract or summary tells you about the article. Um, to read it, you can click PDF Full Text, and you will see the whole article. One thing to note is if you see this little document over here that says Cite, if you click that, you'll get a sample citation. This is uh, APA, however you'll notice there is um, an error in this. You would want to correct all the capitalization so that it's properly cased, okay? And as well as take out the word cover story. If you go down, you'll see the MLA citation is there as well. And again, the same thing, you're going to want to correct that. If you want to print or um, download, you can do all of those things over here. Here's print. You can save it to Google Drive. You can email it to yourself as well. So all of those options are available to you. Whenever you're done with an article, you can go ahead and click the result list, and that will take you back. If you're not happy with your results, you can change them and make them better. So let's say that I'm not happy with um, how profit is, is doing for me. I can go ahead and change this to maybe um, results. And now I have 4,000. Or maybe I want to focus only on um, Facebook. I can change social media to Facebook. And now I have 2,700. And you can see that the, uh, the search results changed quite a bit just by changing a couple words here or there. Um, the other thing to note is that under source types, you will see a whole bunch of different kinds of sources. Um, there are news, journals, magazines, and trade publications, and you may need to access those at different times. If you have any questions, please contact your local librarian.